Every new iPhone launch leads to a heated discussion on how much Apple improved its camera, and we at Macworld are always ready to jump into that debate. However, if your phone is only a generation or two old, you should know your photography can make an even bigger jump by adding external lenses. Hi, Dan here from Macworld, and first off, if you're already an avid photographer and you have a lot of experience with cameras and interchangeable lenses, then you might just want to wait for the next video I'm working on, which is about the best slash my favorite iPhone lenses. But for everyone else, I'll try to keep this simple and accessible. So why use external lenses? Because first and foremost, they let you take photos that weren't possible before. For example, a wide angle lens allows you to get a wider shot or a larger field of view. A lot of times stepping backwards isn't an option. So the wide angle lens allows you to capture more of a landscape or get an entire group of people into the frame that you couldn't otherwise before. A telephoto lens will allow you to shoot objects that are much farther away. When you use digital zoom, like when you pinch on the iPhone camera app, you're basically taking a small portion of the picture and stretching it. This can lead to softness or blurriness in an image because you're not actually capturing any more digital data in the photo. Now, if you have an iPhone with two rear lenses, like the 8 Plus or a 10s model, it already includes a telephoto lens that's about two times a tighter view as a standard lens. That's good enough for some situations, but you can still attach a telephoto lens to the telephoto camera and turn that into four times the standard. And finally, with a macro lens, you can get close-up details on the smallest of objects. You can think of it like adding a magnifying glass, meaning you'll need to get up very close. But you probably never considered shooting tiny objects like these flowers, insects, or water droplets. Okay, the second reason for adding external lenses is that you can combine lens choice with freedom of movement and make unique creative decisions. For example, faces and other objects will look different depending on the distance and the lens you use. Here's Adam, and you can see how his face changes using the same framing but a different lens. It's certainly subjective, but portraits of people generally look better with a lens that leans towards telephoto. Lenses also affect the relationship of the foreground and the background. Compared to a wide-angle lens, a telephoto lens will compress space. So besides seeing less background, the background will also appear closer. In this example with our model Kaylee, you can see the difference in the bridge towers behind her. In essence, the lens gives you the power to determine what's important with every shot. So those are generally the benefits of external lenses paired with an iPhone. But before you rush out to buy an entire set, let's talk about the downsides. First, they're easy to lose. The lens is just another thing to set down and forget. Also, portrait mode won't work when using the external lens since this feature requires both cameras simultaneously to function. In addition, some lenses require proprietary cases to work, which means limited case options. And the ones that clip onto your phone can take a moment to align with the camera. Also, in some situations, you'll need an additional app to manually force the telephoto lens. And finally, there's no guarantee that today's lenses will work with next year's models. This is particularly true for the lenses that require special cases. With all that said, I've become a big fan of iPhone lenses, in large part because Apple's cameras have become so good. Granted, an iPhone with an external lens will never replace dedicated cameras, which give you complete manual control, a wider variety of swappable lenses, and larger sensors. But keep in mind, you're already going to be carrying your iPhone everywhere, and carrying an extra phone lens or two is dramatically easier than carrying a big bulky camera. Okay, at this point, if you're convinced and you're wondering which lens to buy, then stay tuned because I'm working on a video on just that. Subscribe to Macworld, and if you have a lens that you love and think I should check out, post it right here or message me on Instagram.